Hello Year 2s and welcome to your first quiz. We'll be covering English and Maths but all kinds of general knowledge as well. There's two rounds and each round has got eight questions. You can play on your own and all the answers are explained at the end or with friends, family or your whole class. So grab a pencil and paper and let's get started. Round 1. Question 1. What is 4 times 3? Each question, I'll give you a short pause, but if you'd like a bit longer, just hit pause and then press play when you're ready to carry on. Question two. Can you add two adjectives to create an expanded noun phrase about this robot? So the something something robot. Question three. Do you know what type of bird this is? Question four. What fraction of the pizza is left? Question five. Do you know who this author is? Question six. A basket of fruit costs one pound forty-nine. I have these coins in my purse. Can I afford the fruit? Question seven. Which of these numbers is in both the two and the five times table? Final question of this round. What time does the clock show? I wonder what you're normally doing at that time. Okay, if you'd like to go back and look at any of the questions, do that now. Otherwise, here come the answers. Good luck. Question one. Four times three equals 12. And there you can see four groups of three fingers. If you add all those fingers up, there will be 12. Question two. This is just a suggestion. You might have thought of all kinds of other adjectives. But remember, an adjective describes the noun. The noun is the robot. So I thought the friendly, helpful robot, because he looks like, or she looks like, they might be quite a helpful robot. But you might have had the cute, or the blue, or the green, the turquoise, the wavy, all kinds of things. Two adjectives to describe the robot. Notice that when we have two adjectives together, we need a comma in between. This was an eagle. I wonder if you spelt it correctly. Have a careful look. You might not know this, but eagles can actually reach 100 miles an hour when they're diving for prey. That's faster than a car on a motorway. Really fast. Question four. One third of the pizza is left. The denominator at the bottom, the three, shows how many parts, equal parts, the pizza has been divided into. And the numerator, the number at the top, the one, is how many parts are left. So one third. Question five, this is David Williams. Here's just a couple of recent books that he's written, but he's written many others. Gangster Granny, The Boy in the Dress, uh, just, just to name a couple of others. Question six, yes, we can afford the fruit. So I added up the two 50p's first because I know that 50 plus 50 makes 100 and there are 100 pence in a pound. So I know that the two 50s make one pound. And then I went to the two 20s because they're the next biggest coin. Two 20s added together is 40. So, so far I've got one pound 40. Then I'm going to add on the 10p. One pound 40 plus 10p is one pound 50. And then I've got a five pence, so I've actually got one pound 55. So I do have enough money to buy the fruit. You might want to work out the change. I would get six P change. Question seven, only the number 40 is in both of the times tables. First of all, I looked for any even numbers because I know all even numbers are in the two times table. And I could see that 32 and 40 are both even because they end with an even digit, two or zero. Then I know that any number in the five times table will either end with a zero or a five. So therefore, the only number this could have been applicable to is the number 40. 
This showed half past seven. The longer orange hand is pointing down to the six, saying half past, and the shorter um, our hand, sorry, is pointing in between the seven and the eight, which means it's half past seven. So the orange hand was the minute hand pointing down to the six, and the green hand was the hour hand pointing in between. Add up your scores, compare with your friends, and get ready for round two. Question one. My kind friend listens. Can you write down each word class from that sentence? So which word in that sentence is a noun? Which word is an adjective? And which word is a verb? Question two. Can you draw a pentagon and then colour exactly half of it? You might want to pause here because that's going to take you a little bit of time. Question three. There are four countries that make up the United Kingdom. Can you name them? Even better, can you spell them? Question four. It takes mum 15 minutes to walk three quarters of the way to the shop. How long will the whole journey take? Question five. What is the largest planet in our solar system? Question six. Do snails have teeth? Yes or no? Question seven. Can you unscramble this adverb? So you've got six letters there. Can you rearrange them to spell an adverb? And finally, question eight. I collect 15 bugs in total. I have twice as many ladybirds as beetles. So how many beetles do I have? So I've got 15 all together. Some are ladybirds, some are beetles. I know I've got twice as many ladybirds as beetles. So how many beetles must I have? Pause here if you'd like a little bit longer thinking time. I'm going to move on to the answers. Round two answers for question one. So remember, a noun is a person, place or thing. And in this sentence, it's friend. An adjective is a word that describes a noun. So my friend is kind. So kind is my adjective. And the verb is what the noun is doing. And in this case, the friend is listening. So the verb is listens. Here is my pentagon, my five-sided shape. And I have coloured in half of it. You might have coloured in half a different way, but it would always begin from one of the corners across directly to the opposing side. So you could turn this pentagon, rotate it, and you might find a different halves, but they will all be exactly half coloured in and half not. So have a careful look, see if you think you've managed to do that. Question three. The four countries are England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. Hopefully you remember the capital letter at the beginning of each of those words because they're proper nouns. Check the spelling carefully as well before you move on. Question four. It takes mum 15 minutes to walk three quarters of the way to the shop. How long will the whole journey take? Well, I've used a bar model to help me. So I have drawn a bar and split it into four equal parts because it says there are three quarters. So quarters is the denominator. So that's how many equal parts my bar will be split into. So far, she's walked three of those four parts and that adds up to 15. So I divided the 15 into those three equal parts and wrote that on. And then, of course, I know because the bar has been split into four equal parts, that the last part is also worth five minutes. So then I can add up five plus five plus five plus five or five times four, which equals 20. So the whole journey took 20 minutes. Really well done if you managed to work that out. That was a tough one. Question five, the largest planet in our solar system is Jupiter. 
I bet you know lots of facts about Jupiter. Here's some that I know. I know that it's so big that all of the other planets in our solar system could fit inside it. I know it has 95 moons, and it's actually the oldest planet in our solar system. Question six. Yes, snails do have a kind of teeth. It's actually sharp raised points on their tongue, and they have between one and 12,000. So their tongue is like a very rough file. An adverb is a word that describes either a verb or an adjective. And when we unscrambled this one, it's spelt slowly. Finally, question eight. I collect 15 bugs in total. I have twice as many ladybirds as beetles. How many beetles do I have? So what I've done is for every one beetle, I've drawn two ladybirds. And I've done that until I had 15 bugs in total. Then I've counted how many beetles there are. And you can see that there are five of the lovely shiny blue beetles. Well done for having a go at your first quiz. Now it's time to add up your scores, compare them with anybody you're playing with. And I hope you enjoyed it. Please come back and play another quiz with me another time. I've got them for all years up to year six. Um, and like and subscribe.